today we are on a mission, an incredible mission to get something for the life. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, that's right, the wife has been eyeing up something, kind of weird for Florida, but something she's been wanting for a while. She found one for sale, and we're going to go pick it up, somehow, I hope. What are we getting? We're getting Vermont casting wood burning stove in a biscuit color. Did you get that sand key? Yeah. It's biscuit color. Yeah, so so uh, the uh, specs on this thing is what, 475 pounds. So this should be interesting. We're going to see if we can't load this. We got the uh, Buick. We got the trailer. Now let's see if we got the manpower to load this thing. All right, everyone. It's, good. it's, it's a trip. Things of an uh, hour and a half or so away from the house. We will see you at the loading. This should be fun. You happy? I'll be happy when it's going to be installed and working. It's going to be warm during the winter. Not like this winter was very freaking cold. Okay, let's go. Oh. I wish I wish I could have videoed it. You know, I don't know the guy, so I'm not sure how comfortable he'll be on camera. But yeah, that thing's like 475 is 500 pounds. The dude's a car guy. We loaded that in with a cherry picker. So wife's taking me out to eat. That's some good food. Yeah, it was good. So, a lot of it though. If you're ever in Foley, Alabama, Lambert's, home of the throne, ro throne rolls. You should have seen that in the video. Uh, the, the guy was throwing the rolls across the thing. The portions are absolutely massive. Oh, let me, there we go. Sorry, I can't talk inside because of music and it's really windy outside and it's kind of dark, so. She's restless. She ate too much. What? <laughs> That's a lot of food. So it's cool. Like you get your main course, they give you two sides, and then they have. And then they walk yeah. with uh, fried okra or uh, black eyed peas or tomatoes or green beans or red beans and tomatoes. And they're like, hey, do you want some? Or fried. Fried potato or and onions. Or soft fried potatoes. Um. And I forget what they call that, but they rotate around and bring that to you as well. Soft fries <sighs> that you eat. Soft fries. No, not the soft. The, the, the dishes that they walk around that, that's included uh, in the meal. Oh, I forget what it's called. But anyhow. Wow, really cool restaurant. I wish we were closer. It's It was like two plus hours to get here. I didn't realize it was like this far away, but... This actually isn't very far from where we got married. Yeah. We got married in Gulf Shores, Alabama, near the beach. <laughs> kind of where we started. 
Mr. and Mrs. And here we came back to get the wood stove. Whew. All right, everyone. A long drive home. Good food? Good food, yes. If the Ruski likes it, you know it's good. Yes. All right, we're going to get home. Thanks for... Thanks. I don't know. We'll see you at home. We'll... I'm not even sure how we're going to get this thing off the trailer. <laughs> Let me know if you can uh, read the price here. Oh, while we're on the thing of gas stations, the TV screen there, see the buttons along the side of it? I learned this on the TikTok, actually. Usually the second button down on the right, if you push that, will mute those things. You won't have to listen to the ads. If that doesn't work, try all of them. It's not going to hurt anything, but usually the second one down on the right so far, the stations I've been to, mutes it, and you won't have to sit there and listen to the ads. Pro tip for you. Well, good morning, everyone. I'll give you a little daytime tour of our new stove here. It rained last night, so it got a little rusty. This is cast iron, but that'll come off, no problem. But there it is. Uh, we did have one problem. There was a handle here that works the damper. It came off. Matter of fact, all the handles. Oh, I gotta tighten this one too. Oh no, no, that one's fine. This handle came loose. I tightened it. This came loose. I still have to tighten this. I have to get it from underneath. And even this one. See, that's what happened there the other one had a set screw right there came loose in the handle which we already found online for about like four dollars so not a problem and before somebody says anything about it, we do have the squared around adapter piece here so all right so that thing is way too heavy and my back is way too bad for me to move so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, park it in the big garage for now and uh, we have to have somebody come in and do a chimney through the roof we're gonna put it next to these doors there's a corner so inside the house next to those doors and then we're gonna have a chimney come up through the roof so we're gonna have somebody come in and do the insulation of all that and then we'll have their people pick this up and bring it in the house there you have it, it's our biscuit colored with burning stove. Oh, look, we got a gift box today. What, what did we get? This is really hard one handed. Oh, look at that. Maui Jim. You know, the very first time I sent back glasses, I didn't send the case. And they sent me a new case. But this time I sent them my case. So I have one. I think it's in the RV that actually has a thing for a carabiner, which I like. Look at that. Oh. I can almost bet that these things are probably totally brand new. Yep. Well, I'm not going to say, yeah, totally brand new, but I know my the other arms I had didn't have the. Okay, now these are my old frames because they're kind of dirty right here. So look, they put brand new uh, arms on here for me. I paid for new lenses. I don't even think you could read the Maui Gym on the last ones. I don't even ever actually remember there being a Maui Gym written on the lenses. And it does look like new nose pieces. They, they're all nice and shiny and clean. See, this is nice because the gap. Uh, where am I at here? The gap between here and here is nice and tight now. It was loose. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry for the messy hair, but check it out. There's the signature glasses for the Hell uh, yeah. Be styling on the... I'm not sure if I'm going to take these on AT or not. They are really dark. 
I have a pair of, I think they're by Hobie or something. They're kind of, they're a lot lighter lens, which I think is going to work better for like walking in the trail. But I usually, I don't know, I'm not going to probably wear glasses on the trail so much as uh, when I'm out in the open. So I don't know. I just don't want to risk losing these things. The Maui gyms are pricey. But oh, looking out the window. Yes, I love these things. They look great. Ooh, thank you, Maui Jim. I've been cooped up in this house too much and haven't been walking, so I think we need to go hit the trail and get some exercise. Look, well, everybody, the wife decided to join me for a little walk out here in the woods today. She's already feeling lonely. She wants to spend every minute with me as she can before I leave. So now I have no me time. I'm going to be harassed by her until I leave on the trail. Oh, my back hurts. You calm down a little bit. You always make this thing a race. It's not a race. I'm just walking. No, you're not. You're freaking speed walk. I'm not speeding. Yeah, you are. I'm just walking. I was tell you, that first mile, I got to loosen up. Killing my back out here. Killing me. Okay, honey. Oh. Man, I need to. That first mile, I gotta take it slow. Let my back loose. What? Nothing. No. No, oh, hold me. Hold my hands. Okay. Alright. Uh, enjoy our walk. There you go, Sand Key. There's the 50. There's the SS. There's the GTO. Ah. It's been long enough. I should give you guys an update on the Camaro. So, long story short, for those of you that are new here, um, I modified that car. Um, I have it making more power than what it should be making. It's making uh we had to test it like 618 horse to the wheels with the supercharger i added to it uh, i was kind of having some fun going wide open we had some type of failure and i lost a piston in there so these the motors their cells are aluminum so where your piston goes up and down is like a steel insert a sleeve is what they call it and i damaged that sleeve it's a very precise exact component of the engine so, um, one of two things has to happen. Either the, it needs a new sleeve put in it, or you have an option, what they call boring it out, where you can make that sleeve bigger. I'm not sure the extent of the damage in there. I've just gone in there with the camera, and you can see there's some heavy damage to the wall. So, either way, it's going to be a lot of work. So, I'm either going to have to bore out the entire block, and then you're talking eight new pistons. And then, you know, just talking machine shops. You're going to have to go in there and bore it out. Eight new pistons and all that. Or I'm going to have to have the block taken somewhere and a new sleeve pressed in. This is all manual work. Lots of hours involved. It's very expensive. Um, I reached out to Texas Speed that does a lot of work on these. They only resleeve the entire block. Uh... So I asked um, another guy, another company that does a lot of these LT1 motors, told him what happened. And uh, even he said he doesn't do the re-sleeving, he doesn't do that stuff, but it would be pretty expensive. I asked him, I said, well, I'm looking at about, list is eight grand for a new motor, crate motor from GM. He said, yeah, you're probably looking about that just to have it rebuilt. So it looks like probably my best option is to just uh, get a brand new crate motor, be fully warranted from GM, and just have a dealer drop that engine out and put a new one in. They just you unbolt the subframe, you lift the car up, it's there. They can slap it in. One, two, done. So I have a friend that's a service manager at a Chevy dealer, I'm trying to see what kind of price he can get me. I haven't heard from him yet, so that's that's where I'm at with that.
Then there's this. What happened, honey? You happen. I'm happy. Yeah. Did you find somebody to install the wood burning stove? No. What are you doing here? I live here. Yeah, I know you live here. What are you doing in the outside? We're on parole on the light outside. You have food right there. Good. Oh, yeah, food. You ate again? You bombing my vlog again? Yeah. Dad. Anyhow, uh, I did a video a while back on Fort McClellan, and guess what? I actually hooked back up with one of the, the guys I went to uh, basic and AIT with. He saw the video, and he's like, hey, I was there when all that happened. I was like, dude, yeah, we must have been in the same uh, company or something. Like, oh, what's your name? He told me his name. I'm like, holy crap, yeah, I remember you. I remember we were we had some time at one time talking to the guy and he was from Tampa that's how I remember I'm like holy crap so yeah check it out because of my video reconnected with somebody that I uh with the basic and AIT with all right everyone time to wrap this up promise saying key I get this video out so <laughs> nah I, I need to go ahead and get this thing posted it's kind of getting long so I'll tell you when when she's throwing balls at this dog just Her aim is horrible. It's like that child. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time being the neighbors. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Links down below, get you some discounts and some cool stuff and all that happy stuff. And we should be starting a trail anytime soon. Which is why she's home so much. And I haven't been doing a lot because. She wants to smother me with love. Do you know what? Send you with love? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, everyone, take care and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh direct hit.